What's Martinique's newest project? I said that I was going to start a new video project and it's called Raw. So the reason why I decided to call it Raw is because um, I know many times, you know, when I have my shows, I have the lights and everything, but I wanted this show to just be a time when I'm sharing what I'm doing. So, you know, you may not get the lighting and everything, but you'll at least be able to hear me. So with this particular um, series of RAW, I'm actually learning how to invest. If this is your first time ever tuning into the show, make sure that you go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is Martinique the Storyteller. Also follow me on Instagram and send me a friend request on Facebook if we're not friends yet, so that you'll always be notified when I post new shows, as well as when I'm looking for new um, panelists or even participate participants of my other shows. If you truly enjoy the shows that I produce, make sure that you go ahead and visit my GoFundMe page. Um, the link is in the description box. And um, I really do appreciate any financial gift that I receive to continue to produce um, these shows because I truly do enjoy what I'm doing. So, like I said, um, for this year, I'm actually learning how to invest. And so the best way for me to learn how to do things is one, by asking questions, as well as by reading so I can actually take time and process the information um, that I'm reading. So the book that I'm actually reading is called Invested and it's by Danielle Towns. So I've already completed um, two chapters and this book actually um, is broken down for an entire year to teach the readers how to invest for a year. So each chapter is um, Danielle actually telling us different things to do. So like I said, I'm on chapter two. If you, if I, I just completed chapter two. So if you have, if you haven't um, seen the show for chapter one, make sure you go to my YouTube channel and you can actually catch up on all of my, um, on all of my chapters. Um, so, this chapter, she wants us to find our number. So what this number represents is our amount that will give us that financial freedom. Um, and that's the reason why I'm interested in learning how to invest so I can have that financial freedom. So um, what I'm going to do is just share my screen so that you can calculate your own um, number. So like I said, this is um, the first month she wanted us to just talk about uh, or write down what we would like, how would our life look with this financial freedom. And the second month, February, uh, she wants us to um, find what our number to gain that financial freedom. But I just want to also talk about something. So I was talking to, because I've been telling a lot of people about this book, um, just because I want people to um, read the book with me if they are interested in learning how to invest. Um, but the link is actually in the description box if you want to purchase the book, as well as the website that we're going to visit. And so I was talking to my neighbor because I actually um, went home to visit. So I was talking to my neighbor and I was, you know, just asking him, do you invest in things like that? And so I was talk, I was telling him about this book that I'm reading. He said, well, what have you learned so far? It hasn't told you how to, 
you know, invest. It hasn't um, told you, you know, what to do and things like that. I'm like, I'm only on chapter three. I'm only starting chapter three, you know. And so his point was, why take that time to read about something that has not gotten to the point yet of the purpose of the book? And I said, but that's the problem. You know, we, that's the problem with some people. They don't build that groundwork first. I'm not going to learn everything about investment from this one book. I'm definitely not going to learn everything about investment in two chapters. And so if you are the type of person that feels like you could just read a couple of pages of something and then you just throw the book to the side because you haven't learned everything, challenge yourself to read the entire book um, because I just could not believe he was saying that. And I don't know if he was joking or what, but no, you have to learn. I want to learn the groundwork of something and find out the basics of it so I can start to build on that knowledge. So um, another thing is the way that we make um, just this particular um video series a lot more interesting is if you have any questions or comments make sure you go ahead and post them in the comment field so like i said danielle towns the author she wants us to find our number so i'm going to go ahead and share my screen so you can actually see what i'm in so actually um if you actually just go to her website, which is danieltown.com, then you'll find her information right there. And so you don't go under, like don't hover over resources because it's only going to give you these three options. But what you want to do is click on resources. And then you want to click on your number calculator, which is right here. And so we are actually going to find my number together. So you can see how it is. So, and I've done this already. Martiniki Brown. Uh, we'll put in just my generic one. Oops, that's not it. Yahoo. <sighs> Starting age is 36. And we'll say 30 years until retirement. So my starting capital is definitely this. This starting capital is the amount that I'm putting in in order to invest. So my starting capital is not $440,000. My starting capital is $1,000. Now, before I click continue with your number calculator, I do want to share with you guys that um, because I am going to have my starting capital as $1,000, um, and I know that I'll have that amount before the year is out, but I don't want to invest that number because she's teaching us how to invest in company. So I don't want to invest that number, that amount of money until um, I finish reading the book. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, put my money into either um, a bank CD or a CD just so it can begin growing that interest. And then I can put it into um I can put it into that stock that I want to invest in um, for that. So I just want to let you guys um, just know exactly what I'm going to do um, with that thousand. Um, so it can be gaining interest as well. So I'm going to click on continue with your number. 
So savings per year, this is how much um, I'm going to say that I'm saving each year to um, put in that stock. I think this is what she is saying. Right now, I'm just getting my number. Like I said, I just completed chapter two. But um, what I want to do is 12000 So that's giving me um, 1000 per year. And my increase um, per year is um, 5%. And my return per year is 15%. And my cost of living assumption is how much I feel that how much I'll be living off of, you know, at my age of retirement. So inflation rate assumption is 3%. Assumed tax rate of future deduction is 30%. So drum roll, please. Calculate. Let's see what we got here. So we're saying starting capital is $1,000. Ending capital is 1000 I'll move this up here. Nominal value of cost of living, 80,000. Pre-tax requirement, $114,286. So these figures are all nice and dandy. And then you can actually see how much my annual return will be after I've completed one year and I'm 37 years old. So my annual return will be that $150. So you see my ending capital is um, $1,150 on that. So remember my additional capital assumed added to the end of the year. Make sure you look at that part. Because remember I put in that $12,000 um, for my savings per year. So let's move all the way down to at the end of my retirement, which will be 30 years. So year 30, age 66. So my starting capital should be, and remember, it's not a definite with her percentages and everything, but um, she's just going based off of like the average um, like the rate of return and stuff like that. So my starting capital, and that's from $1,000, can grow to $6,472.690. I'm sorry, $6,472,694. And my annual return will be $970,000. Nine hundred and four, and I just think that that's amazing. You know how much from the compounded uh, interest, how much your money can grow like that if you just leave it alone. And so that's why I want to really just challenge myself. Um, that's why I really just want to challenge myself to learn this skill. And I just think that. Um, I'm excited um, for the possibilities of what my money could grow into. And so with that, I do challenge you um, to also look at it to see if this is something that you're interested in doing. And just leave a comment and let me know, you know, what you think or, you know, if you're already somebody that invests yourself, you know, tell me what are the pros and cons just so we can begin to learn together. So thank you for tuning in. Make sure that you get Danielle's book so we can be reading along and learn together. Make sure you also share this video and um, subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is Martinique the Storyteller. Also, if we're not friends on Facebook yet, make sure that you go ahead and send me a Facebook request, a friend request, so that um, you'll always be notified when I post new shows as well as um, looking for participants for different shows as well. And follow me on Instagram, which is Martinique the Storyteller. All of the links, um, the links to Danielle's book, the link to the website we just looked at, 
um, is in the description box. And if you truly enjoy these shows that I produce, make sure that you go ahead and visit my GoFundMe page, um, which is also Martinique the Storyteller. Any financial gift is helpful um, just so I can continue to produce these shows that I love and I enjoy as well. I hope you guys have a great night and I'll talk.